Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a sunflower wreath for you guys using, well they're not wooden beads, they look like wooden beads but they're not. <laughs> You'll see what I used here in a minute but I made this to match my wishing well that I've made earlier using Dollar Tree items so if you missed out on that wishing well I'll put the link down in the description so you definitely have to check that out but if you want to see how I made this wreath keep on watching. But before I start the video, make sure you guys join my Facebook group. It's called Tina Did It with the pink hearts. Make sure you're searching through the groups and join my group and you can share your creations there or your recreations. I'd love to see them. So make sure to join and you can follow me on Instagram. It's tina.did.it dot it just like you see her on the screen make sure to follow me and i share all my crafts there as well and um you can message me anytime you know i'd love to hear from you so that way you're not just a subscriber you're also my friend and let's get on with the video so here i used ping pong balls yes we're not using wooden beads because those are way too expensive we're just going to use five packs of the ping pong balls which by the way, I ended up using only four, but I'm also going to take the, this wreath form and um, it's the large one, it's not the small one. And I'm going to basically open up all the ping pong balls in the middle and I'm going to paint them. So while I'm opening up all the ping pong balls, I would like to mention that everything in this video is from Dollar Tree. So everything I use here, you should find at Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to need to make holes in the ping pong balls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little drill here and make some holes in them. I've seen someone um, do it with nails as well since because the ping pong balls are so soft, you could also just poke a nail through and it should make a hole. But I'm not sure about that. I'm just using a drill here. <laughs> so I'm going to stay on that line, the center of the ping pong ball, and I'm just going to make a hole just like you see here. And I'm going to flip it and basically eyeball it and try to make the other hole right across. But again, I'm making the holes on the line that you see on the ping pong ball right here because that's where the ping pong ball is the hardest, I would like to say. Um, because if you make it on the other side, the ping pong ball tends to dent and fold up. So just stay on the line. And I'm going to be, I'm going to paint them. But what's going to make it easier on me when I'm painting them is to put them in a skewer. So I'm going to just make the hole and stick them all in a skewer. I think each skewer took like five ping pong balls. So I realized in the end of this that I only used 23. I know you see way more than 23 here, but I only used 23 in my wreath. So the reason why I just kept going with it is because I wasn't sure how many are going to fit around the wreath. But I'm letting you know now you only need 23 or 24 ping pong balls. But of course, it depends on the size of the wreath you're going for. I'm using the, the big form wreath from Dollar Tree. So now that I have all the ping pong balls ready, I'm going to go ahead and paint them with this apple barrel khaki color. And here's a little hack for you. Did you know that you can use the pack of the ping pong balls? If you trim it down a little bit, it's like a paint palette so if you're lazy like me to get up and get your palette <laughs> or if you just don't have one you can use um the ping pong ball container and pour in your paint so that's what i'm doing here i'm just showing you a little hack now i'm going to go in and paint all the ping pong balls that you see here make sure when you're painting them you want to go in the same direction so it looks nice and clean before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute projects like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Now let's speed this up a little bit and here's how they should look once they're all done. So now they're dry, I'm going to take them off of the skewers. So basically I'm just going to grab each one of course and just pull them gently. You don't want to make a dent or anything in the ping pong balls. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to grab the skewer and take them out gently. So the story behind this is that someone shared this idea with me on Facebook and I wanted to try it for myself, but on camera, I wanted to share it with you guys as well. And I love this idea so much. I want to make um, garlands later on with it, maybe beach themed because I am going to be doing a lot of beach themed decor for my kitchen. So I'm going, but obviously different colors. So I'm going to go in with different colors and make 
some decor with them for my beach themed kitchen. So definitely stay tuned for that. Basically right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the ping pong balls, I'm setting them aside for a few minutes until I get my wreath ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my wire cutter, but I realized that the garden scissors work on this much better. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the first line because I am going to use the, the largest one, the largest circle. So I'm going to go in into the second one and make sure you're cutting right behind that line because you still want something to keep the wreath together, if that makes sense. It was a little hard to cut with wire cutters, but it works. But if you have garden scissors, it's much easier, trust me. <laughs> so I went in and I cut the other two that you see here. And then um, I did the same thing to the other side. But remember, you want to keep the, lo the longest, not longest, I'm sorry, the largest circle still in there because that's what I'm going to use. I made one mistake here and I'll tell you in a minute what happened, but I'm keeping that re rectangle part at the top for my flowers, but, um, and I cut this area right here. For you, what's much easier and from experience, cut at the top right by the rectangle area because you'll see in a minute what ended up happening with my ping pong balls. And you all know I keep my mistakes in my videos because things like that do happen, so I just share it with you guys. But what ended up happening is that I went ahead and tried to put the balls into the, the top part that you see here. There was a gap between, after putting in all the balls of course, there was a big gap between them, but it didn't fit all the balls. So of course it's better to cut your, um, your entrance or your doorway um, at the top by the floral foams that we're going to be gluing in later because that way if there's any extra wire you can just stick it and glue it back into the the floral foam that we'll be gluing later you'll see in a minute it'll make all sense later <laughs> but you'll see here when I put all the balls in and there's a gap in the middle I just had to like glue it and push it in it was very hard to do so for you to make it easier just cut at the top by the rectangle that we left up there I hope it makes sense. I don't want to confuse anyone. <laughs> but do you see the gap here where I feel like it's still too big, but it's not big enough to fit a ball? So I ended up putting hot glue and just pushing the other wire. Um, well, first I shoved my ping pong balls and I tried to stick another ball in there. And eventually I did it, but it just it was just so much harder. So I, I feel like it'll be much easier for you to cut the top put all the balls through and then the extra piece the extra wire to just glue it into the the floral foam at the top so this was a difficult part for me but if you make the same mistake it's doable just stick the wire further into the other ball and it's fine it holds up great now i'm going to flip my wreath over and i'm going to glue in some floral foams now these are the ones that are already pre-cut they come in like four in one pack i cut it in half so you're only going to need one bar for this and cut it in half and that's all you're going to need for the top part and that's where we're going to be able to stick in our flowers our sunflowers and like i said this is why it's so much easier to cut up there to put your beads in because any extra wire you can just stick it into the floral foam and it will be fine or you can glue it onto the wire up on top and it will be fine so that way it's not in the middle where you might see a gap so now i'm just gluing in my floral foam up on top and i'll be adding in my flowers And I had a tiny piece so I just stuck it in the middle here to add more flowers in the center to make sure there are no gaps and I love this idea you guys you can take this idea and make it different themes different colors you don't have to do it khaki if you want to do a beach theme maybe you'll go in with navy and white or turquoise and white and add um, seashells and which I think would look great but I love how this turned out and I love how it matches my wishing well that I've made earlier with sunflowers so I love how they go together and this wreath looks amazing and it looks expensive but really didn't cost that much to make so it's definitely worth a try and I think it looks amazing so definitely give it a try and here you can add any flowers you'd like but again I'm going in with my sunflowers because I want it to match my wishing well I'm just pushing the leaves up and then I'm going to cut right under the leaf maybe leave an inch or so and I'm just going to cut my flowers 
Oh, and I ended up using two bouquets of flowers. So I picked up two of the sunflowers, not just one, because I wanted it to look full. So I ended up using two. And that's basically it. I'm just putting in my flowers and don't forget to turn your wreath um, around and make sure to add flowers in the front. You want to block all the, the gaps where you can see the floral foam. So make sure you, make, you cover everything. But that's it. Here is how it looks. I hope you like it. I know I do. I love the way it looks and I love the fact that it matches the wishing well that I made earlier. And I'm going to definitely try this technique with other themes like beach decor. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And make sure to share this project with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Bye.